Moldova's pro-European president, signed into law on Monday changes to the criminal code expanding provisions on treason denounced by her opponents and Amnesty International. The amendments were approved last week by Parliament. Dominated by President Maya Sandu's Party of Action and Solidarity, with the aim of fighting organized crime groups' authorities, say, are bent on destabilizing the ex-Soviet state. Opponents say they could undermine freedom of speech and the work of journalists ahead of an October presidential election and a referendum on joining the European Union. This means, if you make any objection, you are off to prison, say Alexei Lungu of the pro-Russian Victory Opposition Bloc, which campaigns on the slogan, No to the EU. Vlad Betinsia of the Moscow-friendly Socialist Party say the law amounted to creating a new form of fight against people, parties and politicians who have a different point of view. This is an attack on pluralism. The changes extend to peacetime treason provisions previously limited to a state of war. Extend prison terms and remove a requirement that actions must directly harm the state. They also create a new category of crime for assisting a foreign state. Amnesty International In a statement issued last month by its executive director in Moldova, Vislav Tofen, urged Sandu not to sign the legislation. The broadened definition of high treason is vague and open to abuse. Posing a particular threat to the right to freedom of expression, Tofen said. This new definition of high treason could be used to target political dissent and critical voices under the guise of countering malevolent foreign influence. Sandu has made securing European Union membership the cornerstone of her policies and denounced Russia and corruption as the biggest threats facing the country lying between Ukraine and EU member Romania. Moldova's authorities have tried to curb the activities of politicians linked to fugitive business magnate Elon Shaw, the driving force between the victory electoral bloc. Shaw was sentenced in absentia last year to 15 years in prison for his part in a 2014 $1 billion bank fraud. A party bearing his name was outlawed by the Constitutional Court and his associates were barred from running in local elections. Opposition parties accused Sandu of exploiting the EU referendum to win re-election in the October presidential poll.